In our last example, we joined two, two tables, one uh, a long table of many facts, and the second one a very small table. We did this join both with pandas, and then with DAS data frame on a single machine, and then with DAS data frame across a cluster. When we got to the cluster, we found that it worked very well, it was very fast, uh, but it could have been faster. In this example, we're going to do the exact same experiment, but now using a couple of advanced techniques within the distributed scheduler to manage data a little bit more efficiently. Uh, you don't need to do these things, everything will work fine by default, but um, it's a little bit nicer if you, if you go through. So as a, as a quick recap, I have two tables. I have a small table here with categories and products. There are many products, there are a few categories. And I've got a much longer table uh, with ratings and values associated with each product. Now on to effect a join and then do some analysis. Okay. So we've done that uh, single machine. There's a previous YouTube video you can look at to do all these things. Um, I'm going to start down here where we now have our cluster, uh, and we're going to do a couple of changes. First, we're going to explicitly scatter out the data for the small table to all the different workers as a, as a starter step, and we'll do that using an efficient tree scatter. And then second, we're going to uh, use processes rather than uh, threads. So in the last example, we had it said 20 workers and 320 threads. It's the same physical machines, we're just now using one process per core rather than one process per physical machine. That'll help us uh, get past some of the um, Issues we were seeing with before about dealing with just text data. So again, we're gonna make a you know a data set that's uh, fake, uh, has a thousand partitions. Each partition is you know ten thousand rows. It's not not not, not very large. Um, and then our dimension table. So recall this is the table that uh, connects our products to these small number of categories. We're going to turn that now into a DAS data frame with just a single partition, and we're going to push that onto the network. And then we're going to replicate that data set across the network. So replicate is a function that takes any sort of Dask thing and scatters the data out to multiple machines. You might do this for safety, you might do this for performance. Uh, you can give it a number of, number of replications, you can give it you know, a set of workers you want to replicate it on. It's quite versatile. Uh, by default, it will just send this data everywhere. So that's been done. Let's go ahead and look at our UI. So we have just this one table currently in memory, distributed, and there was a brief period in which we were actually sending data throughout the network. It looks like it was happening around, you know, four seconds. So now we're going to take our fake data set and we're going to press that the on the cluster as well. Uh, this is going a lot faster than the last time because we're now using many processes. So previously creating our data was using a lot of Python code, not pandas or NumPy code. And that code will, will benefit uh, through these multiple processes rather than multiple threads because of the Python gill. Uh, but it's easy, we can switch back and forth as we've just done. And so we you know, affected that in a few seconds. Uh, finally, now that both our table are in RAM and our joining table are in RAM, we can do the full join and the group by a bit more quickly. So let's run that. And so here we've done, we've done the full join and group by in around four seconds. Let's go ahead and look at what that looks like uh, over the cluster, or the full computation. This will give us a better idea of uh, all the tasks we've done and how they relate to each other. So over here, we were creating our data, and then we, you know, we did we talked for a little while during this interim. Let's resize this a little bit. Uh, there's enough rectangles on here that it's a little bit laggy. Um, and then we, we did our, our join and group by. And so if we look at these joins, we see there's there's very little red inside of this uh, picture. Before there were all these red bands for communication. Um, and if we go ahead and zoom in on a few of these. Why is this not working? I'm going to zoom in a few of these. We'll notice that these merges are taking no longer 3,000 set milliseconds. They're now taking around 450 milliseconds. And this is because the many th Python threads are no longer contending with each other. They're bottled up in their little processes. So that's it. Um, this showed off two nice pieces of technology. One, persist, which uh, puts DAS things into the network and keeps them there. And then the second one was replicate which uh, does an efficient tree scatter to replicate data throughout the cluster in a nice way. 
uh, using both of these combined with using processes rather than threads, we were able to get the um, full join time down from you know 20-ish seconds down to about four. Uh, again, if you want to go faster, the thing to do here really is to avoid object dtype and use some sort of numerical data type, something like maybe pandas categoricals.